It is only with the greatest of fortune that I am here today and able to relay the following story. As unbelievable as it might seem, I assure you every word is true. I had enrolled on a tour of the mammoth cave system that lies on the southernmost fringes of the city. During the course of our tour through the recesses of the cave, I became separated from the party. I gradually realized that I was hopelessly lost. Turn as I might, I could find no familiar landmarks. I realized I had wandered well beyond the path of an ordinary search party and began to fear I might never again see the pleasant light of day. Yet I did not panic. I reflected that if I should die, this majestic cavern would be as welcome a sepulcher as any churchyard might afford. I had no one to blame but myself, however, as I had separated from the regular party of sightseers, wandering for over an hour into forbidden areas of the cave. My lantern slowly began to fade. Soon, I would be enveloped in total blackness. No, no. Ah. As the last fitful rays of my lantern faded into obscurity, I resolved to leave no stone unturned, no possible means of escape neglected. I fancied I heard the sound of soft steps approaching on the rocky floor. Was my deliverance to be accomplished so soon? I was at the point of renewing my cries when my delight turned to horror, as I realized the footsteps were not like those of any mortal man. In place of the tread of the heavy-booted guide was a series of soft, stealthy steps, like the padded paws of some feline. I was now convinced my cries had attracted some wild beast, perhaps a mountain lion which had accidentally strayed into the cave. Seeking to arm myself, I grasped a fragment of rock in each hand and waited with resignation for the inevitable result. Nearer, nearer, the Somebody dreaded help! footfalls approached. I was petrified, no. rooted to the spot. I could hear the labored breathing of the beast. Guided by my sense of hearing, I hurled the jagged limestone fragment. I heard the thing jump, landing safely a distance away. Readjusting my aim, I hurled the second missile with renewed strength. I listened as the rock struck home and the creature collapsed, prone and unmoving. Its breathing continued in heavy, gasping inhalations. I realized I had merely wounded it. Fearing it might recover an attack, I ran, best as I could in the darkness in the opposite direction from the sound. I suddenly heard a metallic clicking from up ahead, followed by the reflected light of an approaching lantern. With joy, I realized it was the guide. Over here, I'm over here! Are you okay? Uh, I'm all right. When I got to the exit, I realized I was a man short. You were fortunate I was able to find you. You don't know the half of it. I, I was almost killed back there. Something, something was stalking me, a, a, a beast of some sort. It was circling, a, about to move in for the kill when I threw a rock, injuring it. Wildlife? This far down in the cavern? Certainly not. I kid you not, it lies wounded just a little ways back. Indeed. Come see for yourself. Come on. We retraced my steps and soon discovered a white object on the cave floor. Whiter even than the gleaming limestone. And that is when we realized with horror that the creature I had killed the strange beast of the unfathomed cave was, or had at one time, been a man. <laughs> <laughs>